Ethiopia, and we've talked about Kenya, but now uh, we've, the Sudan and uh, Rwanda and several other uh, nations in that area, it seems to me that uh, there ought to be some kind of organization created by uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, freedom fighters in these particular areas to bring, because all of these countries face essentially the same problem, you see, and, 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 and it, there ought to be some kind of organization developed that would bring all of these countries together. Is there any uh, thought of bringing these, trying to create that kind of organization <coughs> among these countries? Well, there is uh, none to speak of. Uh, as, uh, as we say, those uh, dictators will not uh, bring these things uh, together to mm -hmm. ma make it a, a mm -hmm. safe haven. But let me go back to the Ethiopian issue uh, mm -hmm. that I started earlier. Uh, democracy has to be there. I mean, there is no freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no freedom of uh, no religion. Uh, religion. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see the Radio Voice of America, mm -hmm is jammed by the government now. Mm -hmm. Radio Voice of Germany is jammed. Mm -hmm. And uh, the opposition cannot move, cannot uh, uh, communicate with their people. Mm -hmm. And uh, th there are so many Ethiopians in prison, as we speak mm -hmm. now. You know, this uh, HR 2003 mm -hmm. that I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, with the help of our senators here, will have some uh, mm -hmm. uh, good things, positive things mm -hmm. uh, to the country. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when we look at Ethiopia, Ethiopia is very resourceful. Mm -hmm. Whenever we see the television set, we see so many dismal things. Mm -hmm. But that country has a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the River Nile flows from Ethiopia, mm -hmm. uh, for God's sakes. That country is rich naturally. Mm -hmm. But there must be a good government mm -hmm. which will lead the people to production, mm -hmm. to the economic uh, betterment mm -hmm. there. But that's not happening. Mm -hmm. They exploit the people and just uh, uh, divide them along ethnic and religious lines, as we, as we say. And that generally happens in almost every country on the Horn of Africa. Would, would, would that be a, a fair assessment in terms of it, it's not to the self-interest of uh, those individuals I think that you've described as dictators. It's not in their self-interest to bring a, create a, a kind of community of uh, dealing and helping and, and uplifting the people. Oh, that, that's true. The, mm -hmm. For instance, take Somalia, for instance. Mm -hmm. There is no government to speak of. Mm -hmm. uh, it is trying to get itself together. Go to Sudan mm -hmm. with the Darfur situation, you all know. Mm -hmm. And you go to the north, Eritrea, another dictator there. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, then the United States and the West should facilitate democracy. These, these, are, the, these are the individuals that we seek to deal and negotiate with hoping to create a democracy for the people, but these individuals are not, uh, as dictators and et cetera, are not really interested in creating a democracy. They'll take the money, but they will not use the money to help the people. They will use the money for their own personal... Exactly, it's, it's, exactly. And that's a terrible thing to say, yeah. but is, is, is that essentially what, what, what's going on in, on the horn this, these days? Well, if we help the people help themselves, mm -hmm. if we introduce democracy there, if we protect hum human rights abuse in those countries, mm -hmm. if we are not supporting dictators all mm -hmm. over Africa, mm -hmm. this wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the United States people, the taxpayers will benefit mm -hmm. by bringing about democracy in those countries, mm -hmm. not dealing with, with those crooks. Mm -hmm. Those crooks are just killing the people. That, that's what's happening, mm -hmm. you know. And of course, uh, uh, this is the same. This is true in terms of uh, the uh, Kenyan government, in, in a real sense, in terms of its refusal to turn over power or to admit uh, any kind of opposition? Certainly, turnover is a significant problem. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that you cannot have the same leaders of a democracy justifiably for 40 mm -hmm. years. It no longer is a democracy. Mm -hmm. And so although it is difficult, um, as I said earlier, to impede on a sovereign nation's mm -hmm. Uh, government. Mm -hmm. There certainly can be things done strategically mm -hmm. to not aid and support those governments mm -hmm. if they are in fact not uh, adhering to key principles mm -hmm. of a democratic form of government mm -hmm. and if in fact the United States is actually interested in promoting democracy in Africa. Mm -hmm. I would I would also uh, I would also argue that the United States needs to take more of a long-term mm -hmm. approach to promoting democracy mm -hmm. in Africa. And a long-term approach certainly is not one that um, 
that is indicative of, of, of simple mm -hmm. explanations and quick answers. Mm -hmm. So a commitment to supporting civil society organizations, mm -hmm. to supporting uh, free press, to supporting human rights, mm -hmm. you know, in a, in a very strategic and long-term way very are certainly good. Uh, very good. our steps. And of course, uh, you've got about 25 seconds for one final statement. Oh, well, I just, I just, uh, she just uh, said it. If you think of Ethiopia, for instance, right now, the current government is well over 15 years in power. I mean, in what kind of democracy you will have someone just uh, getting comfortable and suppressing the people? Mm -hmm. We have to help Ethiopians mm -hmm. by having this uh, HR 2003 pass and helping the people, not the dictator. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, let me uh, thank the two of you for coming by and giving us that excellent information about uh, Ethiopia and uh, about Kenya, and we would like our audience also to understand that this is only the uh, first part of a two-part series that we're doing on the uh, Horn of Africa because we believe that to be so very, very significant. And of course, uh, uh, let me encourage you to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.